good morning everybody uh, today we will continue this uh, drainage uh, requirements of irrigated lands uh, i think yesterday we have finished some of the slides uh, today we will be completing those uh, remaining one uh, let us see how uh, yesterday i was missing this slide actually uh, this is a depression one this is a depression two this is depression three like that there may be several depressions in your land and there may be uh, uh, connected these depressions are connected one to the other uh, by way of uh, shallow surface drains and these uh, connections are again interconnected to the lateral drain and then to the main outlet they are all surface only so when the surface drains are not sufficient particularly uh, when the uh, you know uh, internal uh, soil drainage is not so perfect particularly with the clay soils then you have to have a tile drains let us discuss about the general layout of the tile drain and then uh, particular layout of the tile drain also uh, uh, for further you can see layout of tile drains uh, there is a main uh, tile drain uh, uh, through which uh, you will have a laterals uh, joint and this uh, main drain again main tile drain is joined to an outfall open drain and then main deep drain so uh, again ultimately this uh, tile drains again in the field are uh, has to be brought to the uh, open deep drain only so uh, then they will uh, connect it to the um, uh, still main drains so in your field they are uh, tile drains and they are brought to the open uh, main drains only so generally the, this is about the tile drains may be aligned in different fashions depending upon the topography it is not it's a only general one we'll see how the uh, when the topography changes how it will change generally laterals run um, through most of the drainage area and join the mains which in turn discharge through the outlets into deep open drains that's what we are discussing uh, this is a main drain and then this is a laterals they join uh, so this is a general one but uh, depending upon the topography they have been designed uh, to suit the topography into various uh, trial drain layouts for example number one natural system another one grid iron system another one is herring bone system another one is double main system so these are the various systems depending on the uh, topography of the uh, field let us see one by one first the natural system this natural system you can see by the name itself this uh, tile drains follows the natural topography or natural drainage lines see you can see this topography here 224 highest contour highest contour is running here and then uh, the next uh, highest contour is going like this and then uh, 220 so it is something like a valley uh, the in the valley main tile drain is put up uh, joining which is the laterals uh, in fact these laterals are also almost aligning with your a uh, natural surface uh, drainage system so that is why it is called natural system so the natural system is generally adopted in rolling topography where drainage of isolated areas is required so when this is a, a, some kind of isolated area you can put one uh, uh, tile drain there uh, here there is no need that's why there is not put so it will provide you a, a kind of you know freedom wherever you require a tile drain underground and then join to the main so the mains and the connected laterals are provided in natural course so that is very important that's why it's called natural system once again i repeat this system is suitable when the land is not to be completely drained and that's what we were telling uh, everywhere you need not put it wherever required only you can put it the system is quite flexible and permits location of drains where they are most needed okay so let us go for the grid iron system grid iron system is the one which is almost appearing like a iron gate you can see the topography is uh, changing like this for example 224 contour then parallelly 222 there is nothing like a curved nature so these are simply uh, almost appear like a plain land but uh, topography is falling like this so at the end the main is uh, laid down but laterals are connected uh, crossing these uh, contours uh, only one side is they are connected uh, other side they are not connected unlike uh, earlier they are connected both sides whereas here only one side is 
connected. That is the peculiarity of, of this system. So this drainage system consisting of laterals and mains. In this system, the laterals are provided only on one side of the main that we have said. This, may, this system is adopted when the land is practically level. It's not level, but appears to be level because uh, there is no up, ups and downs here. Here completely one uh, contour after other falling slowly and appear like a flat land. So practically level or where the land slopes away from the uh, main one side and when the entire area has to be drained. So only one side it is falling down. That is why the main drain is put here. The main drain is put here. So from other side this lateral is connected, not any uh, opposite side. Okay. So this is a grid diagram system. Then let us go for the herringbone system. There is a spelling mistake here. And then in this, uh, here the spelling mistake, S-Y-S-T-E-M. Okay, in this uh, layout pattern, laterals join the mains from the each side alternately as shown in the figure. It is something like your uh, uh, herring bone, you know, something like, uh, you know, your backbone, uh, you know. Uh, this one, uh, this is a main drain. Uh, here is a uh, something like a valley. Uh, you can see the uh, contours. Highest contour 224, then 222, 220, 218. You can see at the bottom of this valley there is a one main tile drain, and uh, these uh, laterals are joining one after the other, like arrows, one after the other, one after the other, one after the other. So this is a, a something which is a, a like a herring bone system. Uh, this system. In this layout pattern, laterals join mains from each side alternately. Uh, this is joined here, this is joined here. Don't, uh, 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 I mean, both the laterals are not joined together. Okay, so this layout is adapted when the main is laid in depression. This is a depression all along, this is the depression. So, uh, the land along the main is double drained, but since it exists in depression, it probably requires more drainage than the land on the adjacent slope. So uh, basically, this is the one, uh, maybe this is already drained, you can say this is also joining here, it is a double drained, not, not a big problem because it's anyway, it's a low-lying area, it can be double drained, no problem. So more water will accumulate and double drainage is not a problem. Next, this is a double main system. Instead of one main earlier, as you have seen, you can see here only one main is there. Whereas here, two mains. This is a one main, this is a another main. But why it is provided like this? Here, just like earlier one also, this is 224, two, triple 2, then 220. But here the valley is broad. That is why at the bottom, it is almost like a flat. So this is one main which is taking care of this side. This is another main which is taking care of this side. Again, laterals will join uh, to each main from their respective sides. So this system has two mains with the separate laterals for each main as shown in the figure. This layout is adapted when the bottom of the depression is wide. This is a wide, you know. Uh, this arrangement reduces the length of the laterals and, the eliminate, and eliminates the break in slope the laterals at the edge of the depression. See, actually, uh, normally in the other system, since this uh, valley is sharp, uh, almost uh, the lateral is running from uh, this uh, uh, water div divide to till the valley up to here. Whereas here, the lateral is joining just shortly to the main. So lateral lengths are reduced. So that is one advantage. Uh, anyway, uh, since the valley's bottom is uh, not sharp, and it is broadened, so two mains uh, were to be provided. This is the peculiarity of the system. So this is intercepting drain system. When there is a <coughs> highlands are there, you can see this is a highland, maybe hillock is there, and then contours are quickly falling. Uh, you need not put any tile drains here because it's a slope is high, uh, but all of them are completely accumulating here. In fact, there is a stream also, this is a bottom land side by the stream. So you are simply providing a drain, tile drain here that will take care of the entire highland. So uh, this is a very uh, important in the sense that uh, when there is a high slope, you need not put any, any tile drain in respect of the some kind of soil or other things here. Yeah, because of gravity, these uh, things will come. Uh, that means the water will come. Okay. So you, it is enough if you can provide one main drain at the bottom of the valley. That's all. 
so that is what uh, this uh, intercepting trail drain system intercepting means this uh, trail drain uh, which is the main one is intercepting this uh, sloping land that is why it is called intercepting tile drain system in this system there is no lateral drain that is what here also spelling mistake there is no uh, lateral lines uh, yeah, this arrangement is preferred when the main source of drainage is from hilly land see this is a hilly land so uh, whenever there is a hilly land and then uh, a situation like this this kind of uh, system can be adapted so in general all mains and sub mains should be kept away from trees as the roots of the trees can easily enter the open joints of the tile drains and they by blocking them see it is very important that we should recognize the fact that whenever you are providing laterals or even mains uh, but they should not simply uh, run by uh, the root system of a major tree because this uh, root system of major tree uh, can really intercept this or can uh, spoil uh, you know fractures will occur to your uh, tile drains so that is why it, it should be kept away from the, uh, the or you can cut the tree for that matter and relocate at some other place so near to the uh, main drain or even laterals you should not allow any main trees so that these trees uh, root system can uh, penetrate into the tile drains and then spoil the system which was very permanent and uh, you cannot afford that system to be again replaced back because it uh, cost is involved so this completes your uh, uh, drainage requirements of irrigated lands and uh, the, and also completes this chapter we'll come back with another chapter thank you very much thank you very much